would describe myself as um, driven, curious, and loyal. My name is Mona Elisa, and I am, together with Reto Trinkler, the co-founder uh, of Melonport. Blockchain is most disruptive to the financial industry because it's pretty much the only industry left that hasn't been disrupted by technology. Not many people realize that setting up a hedge fund takes a lot of time and costs a lot of money. The reason it takes so much time and costs so much is because there are so many people in the middle and legal documents in the middle that we need to put together to launch a fund. Um, a lot of these people are put in place to make sure that the fund is well regulated. When you can use technology to automate a lot of these parameters or code in a lot of these parameters and have them enforced by blockchain, essentially you can remove the intermediary and have what looks like a technology regulated fund, which takes two minutes to launch and costs you less than $50. In February, we will have the first version of our protocol live on the mainnet. That will basically enable people to set up and manage basic regulated, technology regulated funds, um, which can only interact with digital assets. Um, what does that mean? That means that pretty much anyone can set up and manage a digital asset fund um, with a transparent, auditable track record on the blockchain. And uh, by, by lowering barriers, we get access to a much deeper talent pool. And uh, we can basically start to discover what, you know, what, what sort of talent is out there from all over the world, all shapes and forms. When I think about pioneers in the fund management space, um, I think about Mike Milken, who pioneered uh, junk bonds before they were an asset class. Um, I also think of John Bogle, who pioneered the ETF market. I think about Goldman Sachs, um, when they were the first to launch the GSCI index, which gave investors um, a way to gain exposure to commodities for the first time ever. And I also think about uh, Templeton when they launched the first emerging markets fund enabling people to participate in emerging markets as an investment. And the reason I think these guys are pioneers is because all of these asset classes at one point were seen as uninvestable until these guys came along. And I think about that a lot every day because um, crypto is still an asset class that people resist and I think it needs a pioneer and I don't know who that pioneer is going to be. But what we do know at Malinport is they'll probably be using the Malin protocol.